Welcome back to our second episode of the Nightmare Toys podcast. And today it's me, Philip, uh, Christy, Dylan, and Gigi. And uh, so Yay. we're going to talk about uh, some of the new toys from NECA. Um, of course, yesterday, or well, when this airs, it'll probably be two days. But uh, the Halloween Kills uh, pictures were released. And uh, so, uh, what do you think? <laughs> it's your favorite movie. Yeah, and it hasn't even came out yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know it's a pretty cool figure. I mean, it comes with a lot of different accessories and stuff. Um, so obviously, he's gonna be, he's gonna have a bat in this one. So, yeah. um, but I'm excited for the Halloween three skull mask um, head. That's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, that one's really cool because, like they've released like the skull mask as a skull and then all decrepit with the snakes and everything mm -hmm. but this one's cool because they actually sculpted it to look like it's like squished like at the top like so he's, he's holding, holding it. it yeah yeah so there's probably a scene in the movie where he's like holding that bloody one that's why they chose that one like i wish right. they did all three of them obviously that cool. but i think it's cool that at least it, it's like bloody and it looks like he's holding it yeah, yeah that's a pretty cool accessory yeah. I like all the fire pieces that come. Can't you put the fire on him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool, too. That's the Halloween 2 set. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm that's glad. I'm the, the new one with him and uh, Loomis. Loomis. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And that one's really cool, yeah. too. I wish that that one came with a Tramer head, because you yeah. want to put Ben Tramer on fire. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, if you have the first Halloween 2 Myers, then you can still do yeah, that. Yeah, the head. Yeah. You know. uh, both mm -hmm. figures are cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, and then they have uh, American Werewolf. Um, yeah, that's coming out. Dylan's I'm really excited uh, for that one. Excited on that. <laughs> I want them to do a whole bunch more too, because they're doing the, they're doing him as like the, you know, demon from hell mm -hmm. werewolf, and then they're also doing the the Nazi demon set, which is just one figure with the four heads. So I want them to do a whole bunch more. Like obviously, I want a Jack Goodman figure. Yeah, that'd be that'd that be would hopefully. Cool he would have you know three different heads and hands so that he could have like the progressive stages of decomposition or whatever. i'm glad that they're just doing um figures for that movie yeah i mean it doesn't get talked about enough and there's not enough merchandise for it i know that's a lot of people's um, favorite werewolf movie yeah. so um, i'm just excited just to have the figures just because of that you know right there's not much out there for that so they'll do the howling next uh, right oh that'd be cool <laughs> then you have different werewolves yeah love it and then Another, uh, well, they just released Gremlins, uh, two more, a two-pack, and then... Um, Bring Gremlin. Yeah. That's going to be beautiful. I know. I'm so excited for that. Now they just need to do Doofy, or whatever his name is. Daffy. Yeah. Daffy. Daffy, mm -hmm. yeah. It'd be a full collection. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they're going to. <laughs> so. I'll get every single one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're making the puppet for it, so I don't see why they wouldn't make it. Yeah. And they come with a bunch of accessories and stuff, too, so it'd be really fun to put them all together and make your own little scene, you know, in your collectibles room with all the little gremlins all and all the, the accessories and stuff. Yeah, definitely a lab for all the new batch ones would be yeah. a lot of fun. And then, what else is coming out? Creep Show. Oh, yeah. They announced that, but they haven't shown a picture of it right. yet. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be the creep, but from the original movie. Oh, so yeah. So I'm, like, excited to see yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah, that's always been one of my favorites uh, growing up, creep show. So that's that's pretty cool to have that figure too. I wish I had all these when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I but I have do. them now. <laughs> yeah. I really hope they do like a Harry and Becky two pack. Oh, that would be fantastic. I think they'd be really cool as like the yeah. eight inch clothed figures. Yeah. But at least now that they're doing the license for the original movie, it's like we can get a fluffy and a crate. We can oh, get a whole cool. bunch of stuff. So. Hopefully they sculpt it like the other uh, creep show one we have because the whole body's sculpted in that one. Yeah. Yeah. That one's it's nice. insane. Yeah. Oh, I want a fluffy. Yeah, a fluffy and a crate would be awesome. Yeah. I have one of my in my uh, collection, but it's from a mock time toys. <laughs> they make one. That's cool. Is it the smaller one? Yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, and they made like a Father's yeah, Day one mm -hmm, too. Yeah, I've got that one too. <laughs> well, all right, uh, and so we have most of that on the on the website. Uh, of course, we don't have Creep Show on there yet, but uh, so you can order that or pre-order it, and then uh, we won't get into pre-orders. I don't guess. But <laughs> One of these is going to be devoted strictly yeah, to pre-orders. Yeah, just strictly right? pre to pre-orders. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, let's get, let's do there's it. 
just nothing we can do about it. I mean, we put it up, we go by their date. They lie to us. Yeah. Well, they you get it, you get it. They miss their date, and then you're mad at us. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, but uh, I think um, surely the Halloween Kills will come out sometime soon. I would, yeah. I would hope. But Probably which, once the movie uh, comes out. Maybe by ends, when, when Halloween ends comes right. out, we'll get yeah. the kills. Yeah. yeah, we'll get the kills figure. But we've got the mask. And uh, so uh, Dylan, who does Mask Monday on uh, our YouTube channel, is going to uh, attempt to rehaul attempt. Halloween kills. Yeah, well. <laughs> Underline on yeah. attempt. And <laughs> so we can't say enough that it's just what he thinks it should look like or what his idea of what it's going to look like and it's of course we haven't seen a movie so yeah yeah we're getting like so many people asking to do a rehaul on that and i'm like the movie isn't out yet you know right. but there's the trailer and then there's a you know a lot of people are doing it now that the mask is out a lot of people are posting pictures of their rehauls so there's that, I guess, for reference. Like, you know, yeah. I just kind of look at ones that I like, and right. You know, I'm not gonna ever try to make it screen accurate. It's just, it's not fun. A, right. but B, it's just like it would have to be the only thing that I do is just practice rehauling Myers masks over and over again until it was perfect, and then just mm. produce that one. And yeah, you know, I like the fun of it. I like making monsters and stuff. So it's just gonna be. I'm just gonna make it look like a burnt 2018 Myers mask the way that I see it in my head. There you go. And, yeah. and that's all you can do. And I've seen some really cool ones yeah. Uh, yeah. online. I've seen yeah. some really good ones uh, of what, you yeah. know, I kind of think it should look like. But uh, Yeah. And the sculpt's amazing on it. It's Yeah, I love the sculpt. Yeah, it should be. Like, I, I was playing with one last night, and I went about it one way, and I was like, oh, maybe I need to do it a different way. And... And so I think just the main thing is is just going to be like the, the super bright yellow just needs to be browner. And yeah. It's not even that big of a difference, I think. So I think it's going to be a pretty simple rehaul, actually, even though it took me a couple attempts to figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, but like once now that I think I know how to do, I think it should be pretty simple and people should be able to do it as well if they get the paint and everything. Right. Right. Is it coming up with like the like the right colors and the color schemes of what you want is yeah that, is that what and just the process of how to do it too like um and i guess i'll talk more about it whenever we do the video and all that but um just like i thought at one point i would just spray it all white and then like stipple on the browns and the yellows and everything and then it was kind of it was leaving the white you know where i wanted black and stuff so i think i'm gonna paint it all with like the brown and the yellow and the white and everything and then do like a rub out on it to get all the the black in the deep spots and so I think it should be pretty simple honestly I might not even like spray the whole thing white first I might just use a lot of the factory paint job too like you know I was messing with it last night I'll mess with it again tonight and then I'm like okay now I know what I'm gonna do then yeah. I can do the video well that'd be cool that'd be cool to see and yeah. I, I think um, we're going to um, do a giveaway oh, on yeah. that Yay, giveaways. So, uh, so yeah that, that'll be coming out and uh two weeks something like that two to three weeks, weeks. yeah something. yeah it's, we're trying to get it out as soon as possible i think and then um as soon as yeah as soon as it's done the video's out then we'll do the giveaway yeah. and it'll be you know for the mask i obviously painted in the video so cool yeah and so uh so we'll have a giveaway where you'll have to tag 20 people and <laughs> repost it write a poem we're gonna do the giveaway <laughs> on instagram I yeah but it's all social media yeah yeah, yeah probably instagram because that's where it's the easiest yeah uh, i feel like most of the <clears throat> the mass community right now is using instagram yeah. I think it's the only thing that i use yeah and everyone that i know is on there i know there's Definitely. still facebook groups and stuff but <laughs> instagram i think is where it's at right now yeah so okay well um let's see what else we've got uh the living dead doll elvira yay she's finally. gonna look so beautiful. going to come out um, she's coming out we don't have her yeah. yet but she's yeah. coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah. finally yes so uh i'm pretty excited about that yeah me Although, too 
I'm not sure that we ordered enough because uh, we're almost sold out. Yeah. Pre-sold out yeah. on that. And that was a couple of hundred of those. So uh, next time we're going to have to. A couple thousand. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to up it some. There's uh, a lot more people like Elvira. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we knew it would do good. It was just, uh, you know, you never, you never know. And yeah. then once you order, once you put your order in and they close the orders, then, you know, you're just getting it the second go around, uh, which right. could be. A long time. Yeah, yeah. a year. Yeah, so. they can go up to a year to two years before they come back out with something. That's just how they operate. Yeah. They're pretty good about um, releasing their products, though, pretty much on time. Because they give us a three-month window, as where everybody else just gives us a one-month right. window. Mm -hmm. So, And they usually come out within those three months. So, Yeah, it's just, yeah, just like you're saying, it's just a long time until they make it again right, once it's sold out. Right. So I'm really excited for that one, though. It'll be the second Living Dead doll I've bought. Velma. What's the first? Velma. 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 <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's going to be like my fifth Living Dead doll. What I love Living Dead Dolls. Uh, I have the Chucky and Tiffany duo, and then I have Catwoman, and I also have Annabelle, and then I have Harley Quinn. And then I want to get the Gomez and uh, uh, the Adams Family one, because they're also coming out with Uncle Fester and everything, mm -hmm. so I gotta get the whole set. Yeah, that's everything. Yeah. We got the, the other um, Adams Family ones, too, yeah. on pre-order. Yeah. So. It's gonna look nice. My first one was Sam. I have the Sam Living Dead doll. Oh, that was my so first one. Cute. I didn't know they did one for Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite a few. He's still in the box, so I haven't taken him out. Yeah. And then another big thing that's coming out right now, it's uh, They Live Funko Pops. Um, there is a Chase version of it and a regular version. And uh, we should be getting those soon, too. Yeah. Yeah, nice. we should. We don't pre-order those because it was uh, a year or two ago, or I guess it was two years ago. It was kind of hard to, they were having problems on when they would get them to us. So we just stopped doing pre-orders on those all together. stuff. And so now, um, now we just order them, get them in the store, and then put them on the site. And uh, so uh, all the... Halloween stuff is coming out now too. Um, I know we got more uh, Mickey and Minnie, and then um, we've got all the all the main characters mm -hmm. back in stock. Uh, Freddy, Freddy, Michael, Michael, Leatherface, Chucky. We got Jason. Jason. Yeah. Yep, Jason. We got and a Tiffany. bunch of those. All the heavy hitters. The, yeah, and two different. We got Patrick faces. Bateman yeah. and Jack Torrance. Mm -hmm. We had the the OG Leatherface, which I think we're about sold out again. And then the new one, uh, the original was 11 and this one is 1150. Mm -hmm. And then I think the new one looks great. Yeah. Yeah. I like the new one. I like the old one. He's so cute. <laughs> His little droopy eyes. <laughs> um, they need to make a chop top. Yeah. That would be so cool. That'd be well, cool. They, they haven't done any for TCM2 yet, have mm -mm. they? Yeah, a chop top would be awesome. And well, a but there's a pretty woman. Yeah. There's a pretty woman one that's a hot topic. Yeah. But yeah, chop top, grandma. Yeah, or a grandpa. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. And I think hot topic had. Um, they have a bloody version. A bloody version of the 1150. I think it's mm -hmm. 1158. Is what called it and the freddy and the michael and all that they do not come with chases anymore because i've had that question too if there's a chase um they're not doing chases for the freddies or michaels or original leather faces or anything of of those sort anymore so that sucks so that's a no <laughs> sorry <laughs> well speaking of chase back to the they live one i'm assuming it's just a black and white i like think so politician yeah. alien yeah yeah, Dante had a graphic for us where he, he had the pictures. Uh, one's colored and one's black and white. And then the other one is um, Roddy Piper. Mm -hmm. Yay. Rowdy, rowdy. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, that's going to be cool. Be awesome. Yeah. I finally watched that movie for the first time the other day. And it's really good. There so you go. So I'm excited that the Funko Pops are coming out. <laughs> definitely going to get those. <laughs> yeah. I think 
Brian said earlier today that he already has the Roddy. So that was out already, I guess? Like yeah, the, Hot the Topic and stuff new? has kind of gotten them already. Oh, okay. So I guess I got to We're still Hot waiting. <laughs> but they're coming. They're on their way. And we should yeah. be getting La Llorona soon, too, because I've Ooh. seen Hot Topic already have her, too. La Llorona? La Llorona? Who's that? She's part of the Conjuring series, so oh. she was that. We had the Living Dead doll. Yeah, it's the mom that, like, weeps about her kid. It's that Hispanic horror story. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I probably just called it The Conjuring Living Dead Doll or something. Next podcast, The Conjuring series. Yeah. <laughs> we'll I talk about all about that. That could take yeah. two hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't be included. <laughs> It'll be just me and Christy. There yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. Girl, talk about The Conjuring. But it's a cool Funko Pop, though, so I'm excited to have her. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, the nun figure, that does the nun have anything to do with Conjuring? Yeah. Is yes. that the same thing? Because yes. that figure that just came out is really cool. Oh, I love that. Yeah. The little mini painting. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with like the oil painting. That one six scale yeah. figure is like a really awesome action figure. But I, I haven't seen the movie, so I didn't buy it. <laughs> the Nun is probably my least favorite out of the whole entire Conjuring series. Yeah. Universe, that's what they call it. The Nun's like my top. Like, it's your top? See, I it's my nun. least favorite. That's and like I the wanted one to really like it more. Me. See, I like the Annabelle creation. That one scared me. I like that doll better. Annabelle? The, cre- the creation doll. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. With all the cracks and stuff. But yeah, it's like more old school looking. Well, speaking of watching stuff, has anybody watched <laughs> American Horror Story? Or American Horror, Horror Stories. Stories. We watched the first five episodes. Five. Think, right? Yes. We've got two more to watch. Yeah. Dylan doesn't participate in that. No. I, I saw the first like season and a half. Of American Horror Story, and I thought it was good. I just fell off. I just haven't stuck up with it. Yeah, Have you I watched, watched it? Yeah, I watched up to episode five, I think, too. Are you liking it? Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's just it's something different, like a lot different of all the stories. Right. Like is each one every episode's different? Yes. Yeah. It's like more of an. It's a whole different type story. Thing. Oh, that's. And they're whole different one. characters, whole everything. Mm-hmm. Some but of the every same. Every season is. But now for this new season, it's, it's every like every episode. episode oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool. And it's not like the American Horror Story where they keep the f- same five actors. I think it's like every different actor for every episode. Yeah. Okay. There so have been a couple actors though that have come back to do this. Yes. Though yeah. that were in American Horror Story. So yeah. it's more like but Twilight Zone, Black Mirror kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the, the one we watched last night had uh, Billy, Billy Ward. Ward. And I think that one's my favorite, actually so far out of the five that we've watched was that's the fifth one right the, the fifth one that was really good i love billy lord that one's really good i just the whole time i was like you're so stupid <laughs> <laughs> from the beginning to the end i was like why would you do that mm-hmm. but if you are a big fan of um american horror story and you haven't watched american horror stories i totally suggest it though because oh, yeah. like we said it's a different story in each one so it's not like yeah. you have to watch episode one and you, it's not like you have to go in order or anything like that really you just yeah. pick one that you like and yeah. you're like that's cool yeah. yeah i might just jump ahead to that and check it out i didn't know that that's what they were doing mm-hmm. for this season so it's it's easier to get into for me because i can just like yeah. watch any random episode after yeah. work or yep. something, yeah. you know? and then they give you like a small little information about it they don't tell you everything in the little bio which is nice no the first one though it what it had to do with the murder house though yeah yeah the first one mm-hmm. did have to do with the murder house because that's what everyone thought it was going to be everyone thought it was going to be the different stories of the murder house because of that first episode but, but the first because the first episode is about the the gay couple and yeah. how they ended up mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and what happened to them that one was pretty cool yeah I that, think was, that good. was my favorite one so far brings back the uh, the black leather suit and everything yeah. and how that came about yeah that was really yeah. good I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Yep. Check that out. And let's see. What else? Uh, Texas, Texas Frightmare. Frightmare Weekend. So we're building our booth, right? Or we're going to start building our booth this week. Because um, it's, it's smaller than we yeah, usually do. Yeah. Yeah. They only let us have a 10 foot by 10 foot booth, and we usually have a 30 by 10 foot booth. Right. But oh, wow. it's hard to get into this show, and uh, it's hard to get into some of the the bigger shows. Uh, and of course, we were supposed to do it last year, but uh, got canceled and pushed. And so now we're going to go. Uh, I think it's in a couple of weeks, isn't it? Yeah. The, <clears throat> what is it? The tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, yeah. right? Of September. Nice. Yeah. And 
So we're going to Dallas to do that. And then uh, I know a lot of people ask us if we're going to be in Monster Palooza. And uh, we're not in, I think the next one that we're going to do is Cult Classic Convention. Well, we've got Days of the Dead here well, yeah, Days in of the Las Dead. Vegas in um, <clears throat> October. And then we'll do the Cult Classic yeah. in February. Yeah, and so that's the only one. Um, and the reason is some of them are hard to get into. Um, and then the other reason was we didn't know what was going to be open or, or... What's happening with yeah, everything with COVID. going on. So. We are so, on the wait list for Monster Palooza, though. Yeah, yeah, I think we're on a couple of wait lists. Um, and so if somebody falls off, uh, hopefully we'll get into those. And then uh, next year we're going to try to put something together to where we can go uh, over to the East Coast and uh, do a couple of the shows over there, maybe Florida, something yep. like that. And me and you kind of been talking about going up to Salem and checking out Salem a little bit too. Yeah. I yeah. would love to go to Salem. So. Oh. Yeah. I was supposed to go for my birthday. Salem. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, we may go there when when we go to Pennsylvania. So we got to go to Pennsylvania. What is When is that? That's October, the first weekend of October. Right. For... Uh, Oh, movie star here. <laughs> it's going to be uh, in... Uh, the Valentine's Bluff fan film. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm excited good. about that. So if you like My Bloody Valentine, uh, this is going to be a really awesome fan film. Can't say much about it, but um, yeah. Well, we can say it's going to be great. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to be a part of it. So we didn't want to fly um, just because we kind of hate flying and it's expensive right now and... You have to wear a mask the whole time you're on the plane and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to drive. So we, when we finish the movie, we may check out Salem because I don't think it's that far, uh, an hour or two. So maybe we'll check that out. And yeah, be cool. Make a video of that. Um, Dante, you're going to Salem. Yeah. Dante's going to Salem <laughs> in the winter. <laughs> no, I won't be cold there. In, in You'll October. do vlogs in That'd Salem. Be fine. Um, That'd be perfect. And then let's see. Okay, so um, our expansion is complete. Um, I just got a text message a minute ago that we can get the keys out of the lockbox and lock the door. Um, me and Patrick went yesterday and bought a bunch of. Um, shelving and uh, stuff to put all the clothes on so we're going to expand the store by 2,000 square feet approximately in the back of the store so we're going to move all of our clothing back there uh, and then we're going to replace that with um, Halloween costumes uh, and hopefully we can get it done by the 1st of September is what we're shooting for a um, couple of days away uh, to get all of our Halloween costumes out and we're going to have a huge sale on Halloween costumes um, and then uh, we've got a lot of new product coming in for the expansion so new t-shirts uh, a lot of new stuff in there um, and our Halloween decorations are coming <clears throat> yeah we got Halloween decorations coming that's gonna um, take up a bunch of space um, spirit Halloween who what <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna flip this whole store around. <laughs> yeah, yeah and there, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna change everything up. So it's gonna be if, a brand new store. If mm -hmm. you uh, have been in, it's gonna be completely, completely different. changed. Yeah, so, so have fun trying to find where everything is again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so once we move everything, we're gonna mess with the floor plan too. Just kind of shake everything up, make it fresh, and yeah, I think I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm excited too. for because well, we'll have all the clothes and stuff over in the new kind of area but also we've been talking about doing like uh cool like like shadow boxes and stuff mm -hmm. of like autograph merchandise and just like getting like cool more like specialty like items and stuff over there as well yep i'm excited yeah. about that i'm excited about halloween decorations <laughs> you like halloween i do i love <coughs> halloween dylan you didn't uh. know that i thought you liked easter God, okay. we went to <laughs> we went Sad. to Lowe's the other day, and I just went ahead and grabbed the buggy and pushed it in there. 
She loaded it up, found a bunch of stuff. Our yard, our front yard, is probably, what, 15 feet by 15 feet yeah, of just much of a solid yard. rock. But I had to have a candy corn blow up, though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so now we have a candy corn blow up. And so there's all these steak, um, like skulls on stakes, you know. Last year she bought a bunch of stuff that was steak. And I took it out there and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna push this down in the in the yard. No, no, no. just like pushing it into concrete. Yeah, you gotta so. make like a pre hole and then push it in. Yeah, yeah, it's just let way it different <laughs> here. Let the dirt soak for yeah. two weeks. Yep. Yeah. You replace the water and say, like, all right, I think I can get a steak in. I'm yeah. like, why do they even sell that stuff here? You can't even get it in the ground here. <laughs> for our bedrooms. Yeah. yeah. Are you putting you steaks in your floor? You don't have, you don't have a bunch floor? of skulls in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. The stakes for the blow up. Dang, my now you gave me ideas. <laughs> you know how like the blow ups come with like the little stakes. My mom mm-hmm. always like bends those when she tries to nail them in. So now she just ties it to rocks. No, like I'm big ass steak. rocks. <laughs> yep. You get a steak after this. Yep. <laughs> or canes. Yeah, no, it's canes. I'm just kidding. It's canes. <laughs> Some chicken fingers. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so we've got um, probably enough Halloween decorations to decorate pretty much all of our neighborhood and nice. we can't use any of it <laughs> i even bought an eyeball it's an anim- yeah. animatronic eyeball is, is that it like the one? open like no it's already open but it moves around on the floor say, yeah, and does this little squeaky moves? noise and stuff it's really cute you should I just bring that had into to have the store eyeball. just to scare people yeah. so the eyeball comes crawling out they're just yeah. like instead of a shop dog yeah. and then it lights eyeball. up too yeah it's our shop eyeball yeah yeah it's on on wheels and so if it hits something it just turns and yeah. Keeps going. I had an R2D2 like that one. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, same thing. Might as well just get one of those little, like, rover things that clean and put an eyeball on top. Yeah. What are they called? So it cleans for yep. you. A eyeball Roomba. 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 <laughs> they have projectors too, Freddy and Jason projectors at Lowe's. Oh, yeah. Lowe's is doing pretty good with their Halloween stuff. I feel like we got up our game, man. Spirits opening early. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're about to get our Halloween decorations. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> what's cool about this store too though is like um, we can get a whole bunch of decorations because even if it doesn't all sell during Halloween people just buy that to decorate their house right. all right. year long yeah. So. yeah. and then our other um, update we wanted to give was on the cafe we get a million questions about that and <laughs> we're just going as quickly as we can go on it um, and it's not a coffee shop. <clears throat> yeah, not a coffee not shop. Not a coffee shop. It's a bar slash restaurant. <clears throat> yeah. It's going to be yes, allowed, it's horror promise. themed. <laughs> yes. Horror themed. Uh, full liquor. Uh, Kids are allowed, but they have to be on a leash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and only in the dining area. <laughs> so it's coming along. Um, we just went in there today. Um, we just put the bar top on. The coolers are in. Uh they're sealing the floors um so now we're gonna um start going in and painting and decorating and stuff and uh yep as we can um there's still there's still some work to do but um you know it's construction so yeah it's hurry up and wait all the time and then uh applying for licenses and stuff like that but um if you want to keep up with it uh you can go to let's see nightmarecafelv.com and you can sign up for the wait list or the email list and we'll send you updates um yes we're going to hire people um of course we're going to need servers and uh bartenders and uh, managers, stuff like that. So, uh, cooks. It's going to be. Uh, everybody ask about the the menu. Uh, we're from Alabama, so we're going to do some Southern food, like fried chicken, you know, mashed potatoes, uh, fried okra, sweet tea, stuff like that. That is not. There's nothing around us like that. Um, so it'll be different than everybody else's stuff. And then of course we'll have burgers and. Uh, wings and chicken sandwiches and stuff and like for that. Dessert, the stuff. The, the stuff. stuff. The stuff. <laughs> it's gonna <Yeah>. be amazing. <laughs> oh, I just want the stuff and yeah. the fried chicken. Yeah. It's so nice bread. to walk next door and be like, "All right, order me this." Yeah. 
so That'd so yeah if you um if you want to work there if you're a cook um you can uh send us your resume uh, info at nightmarecafelv.com uh or send it you know to the instagram page we'll uh we'll go through them there and then uh make a decision on on who we're hiring closer to the actual opening date we don't want to hire a bunch of people and then you have to sit and wait a month to start work so uh but it's coming along good uh we'll do we'll do a video update on that soon yeah uh, so that everybody can see see how it's coming along It'd be great. You can shop, eat, and drink all in one stop. Yeah. Yeah. But you uh, you have to go out the doors and go around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to be in the heat for a little bit. But it'll be fine. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah. yeah. Two seconds. You're good. And if you're drunk, you won't yeah, yeah, don't just matter. make sure you don't fall into that pole or stumble into the glass. <laughs> None of that. And don't spill your drinks in the store. Yeah. Don't bring your drinks in the yeah. store. We should just have like, we have a bar for yeah. right. have like a little shelf at the at the door. Like put your drinks there. <laughs> come back for them. Well, all right, guys. Can y'all think of anything else that uh, everybody needs to know? Or I think we covered everything. Yeah. For this week, so uh, we're gonna start doing it weekly, um, or or more maybe, but uh, at least weekly on the podcast. Uh, so you can find this wherever you listen to podcasts and uh, on YouTube. And I think, Dante, that's going to be it. Hey.